Howdy, howdy. Welcome. Hey, this is Eugene. Those of you who have been searching for uh, how in the world do you put a chain on a little two-stroke motorized bicycle engine, well, pay attention. I'm going to show you how. So we're going to put the drive chain onto the drive sprocket. Well, you got to remove the drive cover to get up in there, okay? So this one here has got the Allen screws on it, 5 millimeter Allen uh, Allen wrench or hex key as it's called. You remove it. Now this upper right screw here is the longest one. It's not going to go in the other two holes. Those holes are uh, bottom out if you try to put that screw in there. So uh, remember, your longer screw goes there. All right, so when you remove this cover, now is a great opportunity for those of you who are new to this to find out there's a part or two that may fall out. And it's right there. It's called the bucking bar. It's a little bitty, uh, I think it's a 5 16th inch diameter. I don't know what the metric equivalent is. A uh, little shaft of uh, steel that can come out, and then a little ball bearing behind it. So I'm going to pull it out and show you here. Okay, see that little bearing, uh, what that does, or that little bucking bar, what it does is it helps operate the clutch. There's a ball bearing in there, and I'm going to use a magnet to pull it out. Sometimes the, the ball will just fall out on you, and you'll never see it again. And then sometimes you got to go fishing for it here. Uh, you can either use a magnet to get it out or hit it with some brake cleaner. But remember, we want to put grease back in there, okay? So uh, I'm not doing it right now. I just want to keep it clean for the video. But you, you want a nice little blob of grease in there on both sides of that bucking bar and all around the ball bearing. And then the, uh, the uh, drive cover where the clutch cam operates it. Okay, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to lay the chain onto it here. And we're going to use the spark plug tool. Uh, the engine turns over easier if you have the spark plug removed. Now watch this little part here. Now I'm using my finger to keep it against the uh, sprocket. If you don't, see how the chain is there and gets jammed up and it'll get in a bind and you won't get the thing through. And what I, you got to do is lift it up with your finger and keep it against the sprocket so it clears that little post there where the threaded hole is for the drive cover. And you just keep turning it counterclockwise with your spark plug tool there. And uh, you get it, oh, you want it out at least a good 8, 10 inches so you can easily... Uh, put your connector link on once you get your rear wheel on. Of course, now that's going to be another video there, but congratulations. That is how you get the chain onto your drive sprocket. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. There's a subscribe button down there. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. More to come.